What is going on? It is your old pal here, the obscurest tourist, everybody's cool uncle, or at least I like to think I'm pretty cool, but I'm probably just everybody's weird uncle. It's all about perception. It's all semantics. Let's move on. I got a pretty cool update here today. I am back in Dufferin Grove Park and back to visit the ruins that I found last week. If you hadn't watched the video that I uploaded last week, click the link below or else you're not going to know what the heck I'm talking about and what I'm updating. So click the link below, get caught up and let's move on. So in doing research for the ruins that I found here, I, I discovered that there were supposed to be four stone heads that came off a 174, 175 year old building built in downtown Toronto. Somehow they ended up here. Uh, I found two, just two of the heads out of the four that were supposed to be here. And I thought perhaps they were just lost forever. So I moved on with my life. I never looked back. I packed up, I went, and that was that. Now, well, turns out I should have opened my eyes and explored a little further because a friend of a friend wrote me telling me that there are more ruins here. Shocking. They're right behind me. I don't know if you can see. But it was in these ruins that I found the other two missing heads. Isn't that insane? Insanity. Not only did I find the other two heads, I found four more heads, which are even more mysterious. So I'll have to look into that. For now, I wanted to show you this. So shout out to Tara, who pointed me in the right direction and helped me put all the pieces together, or some of them anyway. crazy that they are just right here. I kind of said the other ones were hidden in plain sight. Right over there. But now that I have come across these, these are really hidden in plain sight. Maybe not even hidden. They're just here. I've walked by these a thousand times. This is even more centrally located in Dauphin Grove. So it is quite confusing that I have never paid attention to them. Never even noticed them. Very odd, very odd to me. So the other two heads that I came across at the other site, which is probably about 100 feet away, was the stone head of Mercury and the stone head which represented the female embodiment of the city of Toronto and the two heads that were missing were John Cabot and Samuel de Champlain. Now these ones are almost in worse condition than the previous two that I found so it's hard to tell if this is I'm gonna guess I'm gonna say this is uh, de Champlain right here and this one here looks more like Jesus than John Cabot. But if you're into exploration, then perhaps from a historical standpoint, this might be your Jesus. John Cabot? Question mark. All in all, there are six heads here. This one looks to be another female head. Not sure what that is. This is a whole new stone head that is not written about. And then we got these two, which are a little bit further away. This one has, is missing his whole face. It's just got a few locks of hair left. This one further on is also in decrepit condition. 
missing an entire jaw. Just the eyes, a couple locks of hair, and uh, still a little bit of his hat or crown left since the pandemic hit this March. Many people have basically lost their homes, unable to pay rent or mortgages, and they've ended up here in the park. And unfortunately, some people have also been using this historical landmark as a toilet. This whole thing has kind of come full circle from its time atop the Toronto Custom House to High Park to where it became a plaything for teenagers partying to Satan worship to animal sacrifice and now to just children's playground. It's kind of crazy. One thing I must note is that I've attempted to make this video four times. Four times. And each time I came here, my camera died within a minute, which is very, very, very odd considering that it was at 100% power. So when things like that happen to me, it perhaps tells me there is some residual energy draining the battery from my camera. It's sort of a paranormal element to these whole things, which, I don't know, wouldn't be so surprising, considering that these were used for devil worship. Creepy, though. Not only are there warnings of not using this as a bathroom, but there's a cute little sign left by some children don't be a litter bug yeah wise words to live by don't be a litter bug indeed well the sun is shining but I assure you she's a cold day today there's a nip in the air and I got my winter gear on the first time I've pulled out my winter gear since the pandemic started so back in March we've come full circle here folks full circle I've been reminding myself that winter, she's a coming. But you know what? She's here. She's here. At least in the north anyway, here in Canada and the northern US. So for now, it is Obscurus Tourist saying, stay safe, stay beautiful, and bundle up and stay warm. Until next time.